Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I'm going to read for Harmony Day. Harmony Day is when everybody celebrates everybody's cultures and traditions and enjoys a fun day of activities at school. This book is called The Bugliest Bug and it's written by Carol Diggory Shields and illustrated by Scott Nash. I love these illustrations. All the bugs with their big bug eyes. The blurb doesn't tell you very much, but it tells you what other people thought about the book. So the Bulletin of Children's Books said, what a con when a contest is held to find the bugliest of them all, bugs of every variety flock to the um, excitement. Young insect aficionados will all be in a buzz. So aficionados are people who are experts at things. They judge things. Now there's very interesting insect on the first page and he's having a little whisper to another insect. Hmm. They've got funny wings. I wonder what they are. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or crawl? Could you be the bugliest bug of them all? Hmm, we don't have six legs, do we? We have two and two arms. A contest for in insects. News buzzed through the air. Bugs slithered and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond young damselfly Dilly said, I'm a plain bug, neither clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would still like to see who the bugliest bug turns out to be. This is a rhyming book. Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Glowworms glowed softly, a beautiful sight. A lacy white curtain hung from the trees and billowed and swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flittery, jittery, hoping for prizes. So it doesn't really matter who enters the contest, absolutely anyone can. There were more bugs than Dilly could ever have dreamed, from tiny noceums to fat termite queens. Some had great pincers, some had proud horns, some looked like branches or flowers or thorns, because lots of bugs like to disguise themselves, don't they? Dilly crept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweet little bugs, let our contest begin. How odd! Dilly thought, those judges have wings that are tied to their back with gossamer strings. Hmm, that's what I was wondering. These wings don't look very real to me. I wonder why they're dressing up with wings. Click beetles clacked and whirl gigs whirled. Crickets sang solo and swallow tails twirled. A ladybug curtsied, tumble bugs flipped. The judges applauded, then licked their lips. Hmm, that is rather strange. I like all those describing words. The judges looked shifty, so Dilly kept squinting. Then, sure enough, she spied their fangs glinting. She yelled, we've been flim-flammed, bamboozled, distracted. Those judges aren't insects, she cried. They're arachnids. What are arachnids? They're spiders. That is the science name for a spider. <gasps> they have been tricked. The big judge hissed softly, too late for you all. It's curtain time now and it started to fall. Folks, he continued, we liked all your acts, but we think we will like you much better as snacks. The bugs froze in fear. This looked like the end. Oh, so it wasn't actually a curtain. It was a net to trap them like a spider's web. It's all sticky. But Dilly thought quickly and shouted out, Friends, there's only one way to get out of this mess. Each insect must do what each insect does best. So charge, yelled a squadron of swift soldier flies, and Bombardier beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirred up through a hole in the net. It's working, it's working. We'll beat those creeps yet. Good job, Dilly. 
The army ants marched and the mantises prayed. Keep fighting, called Dilly, and don't be afraid. Then the stink bugs untucked. United gave off their worst smells. Oh. P.U. We give up, the spiders all yelled. Yeah, I'd be out of there too. <laughs> Look at their faces. I love seeing all their expressions. They scuttled away. Hurrah, cried the bugs, giving high sixes and fuzzy warm hugs. They can't give high fives. <laughs> The cicada piped up. It's time for a speech. Attention, my friends, he said with a screech. The contest is over and we have a winner. Without this young damsel, we'd all be dinner. She might be young and she might be small. But Dilly's the bugliest bug of us all. So it doesn't matter what size, what shape, what colour, how tall you are, it doesn't matter, does it? Everybody has something special about them. That's the end. Can you see any spiders now? I don't think they're smiling anymore. Thank you for joining me today on Carmen's Australian Storytime. And I hope you have a great day of fun on Harmony Day with all of your friends celebrating each other's differences and cultures. And thank you for joining me and I will see you again soon. Oh, don't forget to click and subscribe. Bye for now.